Today on Premiere Prep, we're doing the Annoying Orange Effect in Blender, even though I'm a cardboard box. And to accompany it, we have an annoying host who's coming after the break. Yeah. And here he is, your annoying host, Micah Pendleton. Yeah. Hey guys, cardboard. I told you not to announce me like that. But it was funny, and it went with the episode. Fine. Just go though, because this is where I take over. Fine, but you'll thank me later for the awesome entrance. Maybe, but not today. Let's get into the episode. This episode was a request from DJ Minecart. Thanks for that. Now, how do you accomplish this effect? Well, you need an object to use as your subject, you need a Sharpie marker, and of course, you need a compositor. I'm using Blender, but do keep in mind that other compositors will work for this effect as well. After watching many episodes and behind the scenes of the Annoying Orange, I noticed a few things. One. They seem to use only one eye duplicated to be both. Second, when filming the face element, they put a tracking dot on the nose and the forehead. Also, evenly lighting the face is very important. You want to make it look almost flat. For my test shots, I didn't really do this. <laughs> a ring light would probably be very useful for this, but I don't have one. So to do this, you'll need two footage elements, the object in its setting and the face element. Just sit down in front of your camera and do your lines. Not anything complicated. Now that you've shot your footage, you'll now jump into Blender. You first want to make sure that all of your render settings are correct. Not doing this can cause many problems down the process. I've gotten many, many questions with problems that to fix it only took setting the render resolution correctly. Now, let's open up Blender. Go to the movie clip editor and drag and drop your footage right in. I tried tracking the dots I put on my face, but the eyes and mouth were not sufficiently still. The best way I found to do it was to track the inner corners of the eyes. So add a track to each side and track through and stabilize like I showed back in this episode. Now go to the node compositor and press use nodes and backdrop. Drag and drop your video into the compositor and press Control shift left click on your image node. This will bring up the viewer node. Add a stabilized 2D node and select the video. At this point, we will start actually creating the effect. Go to the UV image editor and in this little view selector, select viewer node. Under the mode menu, select mask. Add a new mask and name it if you want. Add a new mask layer and mask around one of the eyes. Keep it somewhat tight on the eye, then add a lot of feather. It's almost the more the better. Now repeat this for the other eye and the mouth. Again, plenty of feathering. Feathering is one of the things that really helps sell the effect. Now go back to the compositor and add all three of your masks. Now you want to add three set alpha nodes. Add the image to the image input and the mask into the alpha input, and repeat this for the rest. Now add an alpha overnode. Input two of your elements and select Convert Pre-Multiplied. Add another alpha overnode and combine the elements on your first alpha overnode with your one remaining element. Now you have a face with no nose. Something that is a major part to making it look like the show is having the eyes really close to the mouth. So add a displace node in between the set alpha node and the alpha over node for one of your eyes. Then position the eye down to the correct place. Now do the same for the other eye. Moving on. You want to add your background plate and add the face on top of it using another alpha over node. Now add a displace node in between the last alpha over node of your face and the alpha over node you just created and position your face correctly. You may also need to scale it up or down. Last thing to do 
is color correct. I'll leave the specifics up to you because your shot will need different color correction than mine does. But one thing I really want to show you is this awesome trick I learned from Sean Kennedy at one of the Blender conferences. Add an RGB curves node, isolate the red channel in the viewer, and select the red on the node. Play with it until it fits flawlessly into the object. Now isolate the green on the viewer, and select green on the node. Do the same for it. Finally, isolate blue on the viewer, and select blue on the node. And repeat what you did for the last two. Now your face matches the colors of the object and fits in much better. Really nice and really easy. Now just render your shot, and you have this. Today on Premiere Prep, we're doing the Annoying Orange Effect in Blender. So, finally, lol, the Annoying Orange Effect done in Blender. It took a little while to get it to you guys, but I hope the result was worth the wait. Join me next week as we do a beginner's guide to using Blender for live action compositing. Also, if I can get enough questions in, I want to have the first episode of Film World Community this Tuesday. Film World Community is a new bi-monthly show I'm trying to start that's basically a Q&A show on steroids. Viewer questions, movie suggestions, quick tips, and more. I might even start doing some giveaways. So, be sure to get your questions in. And that concludes it for this episode. Thank you guys very much for watching. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'm your host, Micah Pendleton. Remember, dream big, pay small. I'll catch you next time.